Hello and welcome to Master Sitecore. My name is Martina and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove a page from your live site, either by deleting the page completely or by unpublishing it. So this is the page for Bob McBob. Uh, he is a rescue dog and because he's been adopted the organization want to unpublish his page but they want to keep the information available. So we're going to go into Sitecore and find his page. Uh, so we're in the content editor now and the page is there, Bob. And if we scroll down here, you can see that we've got the information and we've got the image. Now to make this item not available on the live site, but still available in the back end here, uh, we need to unpublish it. So if you go and click on the publish tab, you can see there are a number of options here, but none of the buttons actually say unpublish. To do that, we need to change the restrictions available. So here we see we can change uh, a number of things. We can change which versions are publishable. Uh, so in our case, we only have one version. But if we had three or four versions here, we could say, well, I only want version one to be available, not two, three, and four, and it would fall back to that one. But we want to remove this item completely, all versions. So we go to the item tab. Uh, and we can say here, I want this item not to be publishable anymore. And then click OK. OK, so that isn't actually it, though. We have to do one more thing. All we've changed is whether or not the item is publishable. We haven't actually synchronized that change with the um, front end. So oddly, once we've set this option, we actually have to publish the item so that these options come into effect. If I go and actually look at the site, you'll see and refresh, Bob is still there. Nothing's changed. So what I'm going to do is in the content editor, click publish, publish this item. We'll do a smart publish, do all languages. Okay. Uh, and now the item is going to be removed from the website front end because we've synchronized our change, making something not publishable with the production site by doing a publish. And as you can see, Bob is no longer available. He's been removed from the website's front end. However, he's still available in the back end in case, say, we want to move him to a success story part of our website. Let's look at a different scenario. Let's look at Bruno. Now, on the live site, we can see uh, that Bruno is, in fact, uh, a wolf. And our company doesn't deal with wolves. We deal with dogs. Wolves are wild animals. We need to delete this item immediately. To do that, uh, we use the delete button. Uh, and you can access this in a number of ways. You can use the delete button here in the home tab, or you can right click the item and you can delete. So let's do that and see what happens. Are you sure? I am. And for all intents and purposes, Bruno is now gone and away in the wild again. However, if we have a look at the site and refresh, the item's still there. And that is because we haven't published, we haven't synchronized the fact that we deleted with the website's front end. So to do that, we need to publish as well. But how do we do that when there is no item to publish? We have a number of options here. Option one is to use a general site publish. So in your publish tab, click the little arrow here uh, and use publish site. And you have a number of options. You can do an incremental publish, which publishes, publishes changed items. And um, because Bruno was deleted, he's considered change, changed. You can also use smart publish or republish. Um, smart is probably the quickest one, which is going to guarantee success. Uh, incremental publish is the quickest one for sure, though. So you can publish the site. Your other option is to publish the parent item under which Bruno was listed, so elderly dogs. So if you publish that item, it'll publish the sub items if you choose to do so. So I will show you that. Select elderly dogs, publish item rather than site. And then you get the, this option to do a smart publish or republish. So we'll do a smart publish. 
and we will say, please publish the sub items as well. So it's going to go through and publish all these items. And you'll see that Bruno will disappear from the website's front end. Uh, and don't worry, none of, your, none of your drafts or other changes to these items are going to go live uh, as long as your items are in workflow. So as long as they're in an approval process, they will remain hidden from view. And now, if we go back and refresh the Bruno page, like the Bob page, it's now gone from the site and gone from Sitecore's backend. Now, if you deleted something accidentally, you can retrieve it. Let's go back to the launch pad and we're going to go to the desktop. Uh, and in the desktop, we are going to go to the rubbish bin, which is very Windows like. So under all applications here, we've got the recycle bin. Now your developers can configure um, the delete function so that it cannot be retrieved, uh, but it's not in this particular case. And you can see here we have Bruno, the deleted item. And if we wanted to, we could restore him. And that is a quick guide to how you delete and unpublish items in Sitecore.